Yes. <laughs> Matthew 9. <laughs> you know, um, as an individual that has been very evangelistic, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, verses 37 and 38, uh, then saith he unto his disciples, yes, <laughs> the harvest is truly plenteous, <laughs> but the laborers are few. <laughs> Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Yes. <laughs> now this population that you say is too big, approximately seven and a half billion persons. <laughs> I have a personal goal of seeing the harvest of a billion souls. <laughs> billion persons in humanity will actually convert to Christianity because of my influence. <laughs> now let's say you're out there. <laughs> You're in the state patrol. You don't give a fuck about God. In your mind, your badge is your God. Ouch! My thought is that when you obstruct me from suing you, yes, because of your refusal to enforce the laws, you're obstructing me from evangelism. Ouch! Now, I'm one of these revivalists. Yes, they don't happen every day. No, they don't. Let's say I spend the next 10 to 15 years, yes, doing a little reprogramming, yes, selling some innovations, maybe a new sprinkler system. Ouch! And then I take that money and decide to hold crusades throughout the whole world for approximately 10 to 15 years from the time I'm 65 to 80. No. And I stand there on the stage proclaiming the gospel to a billion individuals that would end up in hell. Now, as a revivalist, yes, God made me very different than you. I'm one of these that likes to dwell in the very presence of the omniscience of God while praying for those. I can't fucking believe this.